out to you about last year's game in Washington? Yeah, I don't really don't want to spend a lot of time on last year's game. Obviously, we didn't get the job done, and uh, you know, I thought we grew a lot as a team as the year went on, and probably benefited from that experience. Did you feel after that game there really was no margin of error for you guys going forward? Yeah, again, I I don't want to spend a lot of time on what happened a year ago. Uh, you know, uh, we didn't get the job done in that particular game, and I thought our team responded well after that. Coach, what needs to change in terms of the defense? It's only one week, but in terms of the defense's ability to stop the run. Well, we've been a very good run defense over the last few years and uh, did not do as good a job as we wanted to do in the game on Sunday. Obviously, they had a big run on the second play of the game. They had a couple other runs that broke out a little bit. Uh, so much of that goes back to just being gap sound, setting edges, uh, really being disciplined. Uh, you need to be physical. You need to tackle well. Those have been the trademarks of our defense over the last number of years. We just have to get back to being who we are. Will Tyrone be able to do anything today in practice for you? We guys? anticipate him doing a little bit more. Is this something that is probably managing as you go? Uh, yeah, we just have to see. Uh, we just felt like that was the best plan for this week to keep him out of practice yesterday. And hopefully he'll get some good work in today and tomorrow to be ready for the game on Sunday. Any update on Tavon and how he's feeling? Uh, don't anticipate Tavon practicing today. How, how important is division success? When, when you guys list your goals, where does that one? Right? Well, winning the division is the first goal. And uh, winning division games is the most important thing to, to winning the division. So, uh, you know, you play these teams twice, you know each other inside and out. And, uh, and winning these games is very, very important. What are your impressions of Terry McLaurin coming out and what you see from him? Yeah, I liked him a lot. Uh, someone we spent a lot of time on, very fast, playmaker type guy. And in his first game, he, sh he showed that. I uh, made a big play for them in the game the other day. So felt like he would transition smoothly and be able to play in this league and really make an impact. I don't have Trent Williams on their line, but he has some better mm -hmm. guys. Here's your thoughts on the offensive line? Yeah, they have very good offensive line. Uh, they're very well coached. They got a lot of good players. They've spent a lot of resources up there uh, across the board. They have young players. They have veteran players. They have high picks, and, and they play well. How much has Callahan impacted them in terms of their line and, and that kind of thing? I'm sure he's had a big impact on him. He's a really good football coach, and not only the makeup of the line, but also how they play. Yeah, you know, we've been trying to guard him for a number of years. He's been such a good player up in Green Bay, and, and that's one of the reasons we got him here. And, uh, you know, I think line one with him, he's, he's just such a competitive guy. And I think you saw that. He's going to compete and scratch and claw and try to win any way that he can. And he made two really big plays early on in that game. The third down catch in traffic was a big play, and then the play down in the red zone was huge for us. And uh, he's just such a pro. He knows the game inside and out. He's really fit in well with our team. He's made some impact plays. Not that you expect 405 yards every week from your quarterback. Well, what, what's been his reaction to that uh, this week in practice and, and just getting ready and putting that one behind him? Yeah, game? that's the biggest thing we try to emphasize is just to move on. You learn from your experiences, both good and bad, and you move on to the next one. And uh, you put that 24-hour rule in place, and, and hopefully you grow from the experience and get focused on the next challenge. And, and Dak is really, really good at that. He's been good at that throughout his career. He seems to play pretty well in the no huddle offense. Is that something you would maybe want to kind of build on a little bit and uh, maybe employ a little more in the offense going forward? Yeah, that's something we've done since he's, since he's been a rookie for the reasons you described. He did a lot of that in, uh, in college. So he, he's been doing that with us since his rookie year and handles it well, communicates well, is comfortable in that setting. So we'll always be a mix of huddle and no huddle. Is there more on him this year in terms of at the line sorting things out and doing things, or has it kind of been the same since he's been the guy? Uh, I think pretty much since the outset, and again, he handles that stuff so well. He's been very comfortable in that environment, you know, coming up through college. He played a lot of snaps at Mississippi State in that kind of a system. So he's comfortable doing it, and, uh, you know, we feel like the guys around him are comfortable doing it, and they've handled it well really throughout his career and off to a good start this week. You often point to how, again, when he got here, he hadn't taken a lot of snaps from center, and he did that and incorporated it so quickly. Is there something else in his game you can point to that, that's an example like that where he just, once he latched onto it, he just did it and moved on? Yeah, I, I would say there's everything uh, in his game. You know, he, he's one of the more coachable guys we've ever been around, and he just, 
He, he wants to know what you have to say to help him improve. And he listens to it intently and is very purposeful in trying to get it done. And, you know, whether it's footwork, whether it's just throwing motion or decision making or understanding a play or understanding a defense. Uh, he's a very conscientious guy. He's a very focused guy. He's very purposeful and deliberate in his approach every day. And uh, I think that's why you've seen him improve so much in all parts of his game. The added motion is not more, though, on his plate to a certain extent. Yeah, I'm sorry? The added motion is not more on his plate. Uh, not, not necessarily. I mean, you know, pre-stop movement, shifts and movements are, are part of, you know, what teams done around this league for a long time. We've done it in the past. He's done it in the past. So that's just part of the mechanics of the game. You know, you want to attack different ways, and the quarterback certainly is the guy in charge of that. Uh, but that's not something that's, ex that's extreme for him. He can handle that, and, and our guys have handled it well. You talk about his spirit when he shows up to practice and guys feeding off that. Isn't that it? Every quarterback isn't – is it like that, or does the team just kind of look to the quarterback naturally to be that guy? Well, I would say quarterbacks have different personalities, and uh, there have been a lot of successful quarterbacks who have done it a lot of different ways. They come in all shapes and sizes. They have all kind of personalities and temperaments. And, uh, you know, the one that he has is just really good for our team. He loves football. You see it on his face every day. Uh, he's an intense competitor. He's an incredibly hard worker. And, and all of that spirit that he has, that smile on his face and his love for the game is contagious throughout our team. And uh, he embraces every challenge, you know, head on with his shoulders back. And, um, you know, that's one of the things that I think has really helped our team, his leadership and how our guys have responded to it. Every team goes through adversity. Why do you think you guys have been able to respond well from Yeah, it's the nature of life. It's the nature of our game. And so hopefully you've, you've built your team the right way with the kind of guys who are mentally tough and understand the importance of that and, uh, you know, handle success, handle adversity. That's one of the, the mantras that we have every day and just keep going and learn from your experiences and, and, and strive to be your best uh, regardless of what the circumstances are. So uh, it starts with getting the right kind of guys on your team. Uh, if you have, have good people of strong character, they're going to be able to handle both the successes and the adversity that are inevitable in our game. We ask you a lot about your 37-year-old tight end. What are your thoughts on their older tight end, Vernon Davis, what he's been wow, doing? Wow, he's amazing. Uh, the play that he made the other day in the game, off the charts. And, uh, you know, he's been such a good player for so long. And we had the opportunity to coach him in Pro Bowls in the past, and he's just such a pro. And uh, he just plays the game at a very high level. And uh, you saw it. His speed leaps off the tape. His athleticism leaps off the tape. And he's been an impact player for a long time. We've asked you a lot here about Jason Witten, but, but how has Blake Jarwin done as far as carving out a niche for himself in this offense? And then once Jason came back, kind of responding and, and not letting that affect him. Yeah, Blake's done an excellent job. You know, he was a practice squad player for us at the outset of his career and just worked very hard in that role. And then eventually we brought him up and he started playing for us and started playing more and more. And you know, I thought his improvement over the course of last year was significant. And obviously had some big games down the stretch and just became more and more comfortable, more and more confident in his play, much more decisive as a blocker, as a route runner. He started making a lot of plays for us. And that carried through the off season and through the early part of this season. And uh, he's been dealing with an injury here lately. But uh, he's a confident guy. He believes he can do it. And he can help us a lot of different ways. And uh, you know, certainly will help him to be around Jason Witten every day, just see how Witt goes about it. And, uh, and kind of follow his lead in terms of his preparation and his play. But uh, you know, he hasn't blinked uh, in any situation that we've given him. He's handled it all really well and is getting better and better. Thank you. All right. Good to see you guys. Good to see We never made that.